Hi, today is Sunday, July 7th, 2019, and welcome to my PCD life. So I just finished up 14.2 uh, miles um, here at the Y on the treadmill today. I'm going to do all my miles pretty much the summer on the treadmill indoors where I can breathe. Uh, with the heat and humidity, it gets to be a little much. Uh, so today was my long walk and uh, just stretching out afterwards now. So I'm a little behind on updating you guys on the transplant process. I, so I'm going to do that while I stretch. I, um, after all the initial tests, I've had a few more, um, a colonoscopy, and you know, that's because I'm over 50 and I didn't get it when I was 50. So, um, and because of the oxygen, they had to do that at the hospital. Instead of, you know, they have like the sort of outpatient uh, where most people get them. So, because with lung, a lung condition, anesthesia is a concern. So, um, but everything went fine with that. And, you know, one of the things I was actually reading is there are some people who they do them without anesthesia because they're so concerned about the anesthesia in their lungs and them being able to come out of the anesthesia. So, thank God, um, that was not an issue for me. And then I've also met with um, the social worker. They want to make sure that, you know, you, your family <coughs> are aware of everything that's going to happen, uh, what the needs are, and um, met with infectious disease doctor because I'm chronically colonized with pseudomonas in my sinuses and my lungs. And they look at, you know, they'll be involved with treatments in, in the future. So what treatments will work. And then I also met with, um, had an allergy test because there was a question of whether I'm allergic to penicillin. Years ago, I had a reaction to an IV antibiotic called Zosin, which is kind of a combination of penicillin and something else. And what happened was I had fevers um, close to soon after having that dose. So, um, yeah, so, and, and that came out that I'm fine with penicillin. So that's a good thing because that puts uh, some more antibiotics back into the arsenal. And, you know, I guess just with Sosin, um, if I ever go on it again, pardon me, uh, they will just kind of check the, the Zosin dose and see how I react to that. So, you know, that kind of catches you up. Um, all the initial things are done. My case was presented to the team, to the surgeons, <coughs> and now, um, this week, I am meeting with, with the surgeon. So, you know, so I've sort of have passed one hurdle. And meeting with the surgeon this week, I'm not sure if I'll get any new information, but the following week on the 17th, so the surgeon's this Thursday the 11th, and then the following week, on Wednesday the 17th, I meet up with um, the transplant pulmonologist again. And I think that's the one where I'll have a better idea of what's going on, uh, where I stand, uh, where they think I am um, in terms of when to list me, and I might get my lung allocations for then. So I just wanted to add a little bit more to my post. I mentioned I did 4.2 miles today and you know for me I you know I did a little over a three mile per hour uh, pace so to get in 14.2 uh, was around four hours 45 minutes or so and um, 
you know, I, I just, you know, I guess the training that I'm doing, how slow I am, um, you know, how hard it is to breathe, it takes me a lot longer, you know, the impact of the amount of hours that I have to put in for training. I got to the Y at 8 o'clock this morning and I left um, a little after one, after doing a little bit of stretching. And, you know, that's a long time to be away <laughs> um, for, for to take to do 14.2 miles. And, you know, that's a lot of time away from, you know, my husband, from the house, from doing, you know, chores and keeping up with other stuff. So, you know, I guess, you know, I just want to, yeah, everybody who does marathon training is doing that amount of miles, you know, they're, they're adding up the miles. Um, but when you're slow, it, um, you know, a mile's a mile, and an hour is also an hour. And I'd really rather be able to get, you know, six miles done in an hour instead of three. So anyway, um, thank you for tuning in to this episode of my PCD life.